Hello, Boca High Band and guests, and welcome to this year's virtual band banquet and senior graduation. I know we're all sad we can't be together and celebrate the end of this year together as a band family, but hopefully we can still recognize the outstanding work we did this year and send off our seniors in the best way we can. Tonight we have several things in store for you. I'll give out awards for most improved and most outstanding in each class, some senior awards, and show you some adorable baby photos of our senior class and a slideshow for them. The senior class has also created some awards and put together a slideshow that they will present. And all of our students worked hard to put together a special performance recording of The Avengers, which we'll debut tonight. We'll end the night with our traditional viewing of this past year's marching band show. But right now, I'd like to invite some special guests to speak. Your drum majors, Rika Lapatukin and Isabel Yanalos, would like to say a few words. Followed by one of our band booster presidents, Johnny Rogers, who would like to recognize our executive board. So to start off our gra band graduation ceremony, I'd like to welcome our drum majors. Hi everyone. My name is Rika Lapatukin and I am one of the drum majors of the marching band. When Ms. Amina asked us to give a speech for all of you, she pitched the idea to us by saying that this would be like a band graduation and we would get to be the valedictorians of the band. Naturally, I couldn't give up the opportunity to tell people I was valedictorian, so I gladly accepted. But for me, being the leader of this band was just a cherry on top to everything else this band program has offered. When telling people about my experience in band, I like to describe it as a magnet. For those of you in this program, you have felt the pull of the magnet in more ways than you realize. That band room has this amazing power to always attract you and make you feel like that's the place that you need to be. For me, the magnet has pulled me to eat lunch in there, to spend my summers at band camp there, and to leave school every day by walking out through the band room doors, even if my ride was on the complete opposite side of campus. It's like the room became my home and I knew I would always be greeted with familiar faces and endless hugs when I came in. That attraction and dedication to something is not like anything I've ever experienced before and I can confidently say that it comes directly from Ms. Mamino. She is the reason that this program is what it is. Just recently, a neighbor asked me what famous person inspires me most. After thorough consideration, I texted her later and said that there is no one famous person that I truly look up to. I'm not inspired by people I see on TV, but rather by individuals that I have a relationship with. I proceeded to tell her three names. My mom, my boss, and my band director. Ms. Domino is the most dedicated person I know and has so much passion for music that I have never seen in anyone else. She could be out riding her motorcycle every day, but instead she chooses to come into school early, stay late, come in for weekend rehearsals, and dedicate her summer all so that us students could have the best high school band experience possible. I honestly am so thankful for the opportunities she has given me and her ability to believe in us even when we don't always believe in ourselves. Ms. Amino is the type of person to hand you a piece of music with three solos in it, countless meter changes, tempo at 170, and right as you're about to tell her that you can't play it, she goes, the concert is in two months. And yet, because of her strong belief and ambition, we managed to pull it off. I hope that as we all continue to take the next step in our lives, we can look back at our experiences in band and use it as a reminder that practice and ambition can lead to amazing things. Thank you to everyone in this program for helping to define what I loved most about high school. Thank you to the students for always working so hard, but never forgetting to enjoy yourself along the way. Thank you to all of the additional staff for treating us like your own and for pushing us to do crunches with our instruments and harness the power of the leaf. Thank you to the symphonic bands for playing bops like Incantation and Dance, Eighth Candle, Angels of the Apocalypse, and Rhapsodic Celebration. Thank you to the parents for always cheering us on and for coming to all of our performances. Thank you to the pit orchestra for introducing me to Sweet Charity, making me a Delta Nu, and for taking me all the way to Chicago. Thank you to the leadership teams for cleaning trophies with me and for teaching me the importance of working together. Thank you, Izzy, for always being by my side so that I wouldn't have to follow Rich's rule number nine all by myself. And the biggest thank you goes to Ms. Mamino and everyone else who was a part of the marching band. Because of all of you, I got to stand on a shaky podium, wave my hands around, make funny faces, jump up and down, do the Macarena and look like an absolute fool and somehow feel like the coolest person ever doing it. It has been an amazing ride and I genuinely appreciate every second of it. I like to end this speech with two words that I think have summed up my high school experience 
and that never failed to put a smile on my face. Thank you everyone for being a part of this amazing journey. And with that, I'm happy to say for the last time, yay band. Hi, I'm Isabel Yanalos, your drum major. I've been in band for all four of my years at Boca High. For most of these years, my class schedules were packed with AP and ACE classes. Still, I left space every year for fifth hour with Miss Lamino and the symphonic bands. And although I've learned plenty from my calculus and music theory and chemistry classes, I can confidently say I've learned the most from bands. For example, symphonic band taught me how to be a perfectionist and how to do something until I can't get it wrong. The musical pit orchestra taught me how to wake up early, most of the time. But ultimately, my experience in marching band and as drum major has possibly taught me the most of all. I learned how my own hard work can pay off. I learned how to give my all, even if it means leaving my comfort zone. I learned how to trust in others and know that they'll trust me too. The friends I've made over the years in band have taught me the importance of a good hug, and although the pressure of standing solitary on the podium seemed overwhelming, these same friends taught me that I was not alone. The staff were important teachers too. Thanks to Rich, I learned how to yell across the field. Thanks to Aiden, I learned how to find strength and confidence, even on a shaky podium. Thanks to Brandon, I learned that there was always more air. And thanks to Ms. Femino, I learned how to have pride, trust myself, and take a bow. Hopefully, one day she'll teach me how to ride a motorcycle. They call us band nerds, but I wear that title with pride. The lessons I have learned from band have prepared me more than any other class for graduation, and I'm glad I was able to share them with you. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Johnny Rogers, one of the co-presidents of the Band Boost to Seaboard. I welcome you to our 2020 virtual banquet. It just goes to show where there is a will, there is a way, as we gather here to send off our seniors. I'd like to say congratulations to a successful year, and yes, I know, things are not like they were for the previous seniors. Your band farewell and graduation will not be forgotten and go down in history as one of a kind. You are leading your mark, just like you will in everything that you will set your mind on from here on out. I would like to take this time to acknowledge and thank all the eBoard members for all their work and time they put in in our band program. I want to start with the senior parents that served on the board and I'm sure for this is a bittersweet moment right now for they are leaving their band family in their official capacity I'm certain it is not with their hearts for the love of music and color guard will keep the friendships made and the memories treasured always so thank you goes to Sandra Reed Truman I know no introduction is needed here as we all saw Sandra day in day out fulfilling her role as co-president on campus. Jennifer Pate served as vice president number one. The tasks are numerous. Jen with her positive encouraging attitude, grace and smile seems to make this task so easy but it is a tough act to follow. Rory Miller, she was not only our freshman representative she was the one that kept us on our toes with the reminds. Whenever there was a call of action and hands on deck needed, if you were around Rory long enough, when the ward senior comes around, you know she needs a tissue. Jennifer Louie, she was our senior rep that knows too well what it takes to keep the seniors on track and in the loop. Natalia Bedoya, she was our junior rep, a quiet voice that made big things happen. Heather Schaffner, she was our color card rep. She was the one that created this position, although she left us too soon to go on on new adventures with her daughters, the guard rep position will go on. Now to the position they were held by non-senior parents and we hope to still have on the board for yet another grand band year. Marta Seccarelli, she served as secretary. Our calm and collected Marta kept a tight ship keeping records of our meetings and the chit chat to a minimum. Karen Grayer served as the vice president number two along with Jennifer Pate. She is a little but mighty lady that get things done. Karina Dodge served as treasurer until she had to leave for personal reasons 
and we were fortunate to have Sarah Martin that had a disposition for many years in her time with the band and was willing to step in as an interim treasurer to finish out the year. She is a living proof that this program has a special place in the once upon a time band parents heart. Maureen Castellano served a sophomore rep and if you had a chance to volunteer with her you know she always finds a way to make it fun. Be careful though if you are taller than her, she might use you as an umbrella, if need be. Susan Weber Her quiet personality becomes visible with the fruit of her tasks well done. Last but not least, John Morgan, better known as Skip. He served as the percussion rep. We missed him this year as his job took him on the road, but when he was around, we could count on his presence. That concludes the names and faces of the board positions, but in reality this is only a small part of what it takes for the band program to be great, a success and fun. Because of all the parents that stepped up, all year helping, showing up and supporting the band by organizing trips, events, chaperoning, driving, fundraising and take on tasks of needs behind the scene, big or small, that makes all the difference for the band to have a smooth and successful and fun year. So if you're in position to have a drink ready, raise your glass and let's give our band director Jen Mamino, our seniors and their parents, as well as the rest of the band family, a big cheers. With great appreciation to everyone, I say thank you. Thank you all for those kind words. I'd like to follow Johnny with a personal thank you to all of our band parents. Parents, thank you for allowing your student to be a part of our band this year. Thank you for allowing them to practice in your home to pick them up late from after school band practices, paying for new reeds, valve oil, ice packs for color guard, sticks, and lessons. Thank you for attending their concerts, football games, competitions, chaperoning, fundraising, volunteering, prop building, uniform sewing, and so much more. This band cannot function without the constant support of you, the band parents. You are so important to this band family. And students, I hope you all join me in thanking all of our amazing parents who love you so much. A special thank you to our Band Booster Executive Board from this past year and our senior graduating eBoard members. I'm really going to miss working with all of you. But don't worry, we're not kicking you out. You absolutely can still come back and work at Cavalcade and in the gift wrap booth. I know that's what you were going to ask. So don't worry, your band family is here for you now that you, to give you something to do now that you'll be an empty nester. <laughs> um, a few other quick shout outs I want to make to one of those alumni band parents, Sarah Martin, who came back and helped out this year with treasure and bookkeeping. So thank you, Sarah. I also want to thank Miss Sandra Reed Drummond, one of our band booster presidents and graduating this year. Thank you so much for all the time and passion that you gave our students. Uh, looking back to marching band season, I'd like to thank Rick and Lourdes Moira for all the prop building and all the parents who helped with props from building to truck loading, truck driving. You all are amazing. And a big thank you to Mr. Eric Lubin, who is our tech wizard and who assembled this whole video for you tonight. Tonight would not be possible without you. Thank you, Mr. Lubin. I also want to take a moment to thank Dr. King and the Boca High Administrative Team for all your support of music and of our students. It's an honor to work at the best school north of the South Pole, and it's crazy and humbling for me to think that I'm finishing up my ninth year teaching at this school, and I can't imagine having a better band family anywhere else in the world. Uh, another part of our band family I want to recognize is our staff. Bill Muter for working with our jazz band and writing the music for our marching band show. Bethany, and, Bethany Williams and Matt Nichols for working with our percussion class and to all of our marching band staff, Brandon Ehrlich, Rich Powali, Andres Martinez, Carol Geraldo, Sawyer Wiles, Carl Jean, Aiden Williams, and Bethany Williams. I'd also like to give a quick congratulations to Aiden and Bethany, who had their baby girl Adeline, who was born on April 12th. So I'd like you to meet the new Boca High drum major, class of 2038. <laughs> but thank you staff for pushing me to be a better teacher and giving our students the best education and role models possible. Next, I'd like to thank the students. After all, that is what tonight is all about. You. Thank you students for another amazing year at Boca High. 
This year, our marching band earned a superior at marching MPA and 10th in the state at FMBC finals. Our jazz band earned a superior at jazz MPA, and we had three students selected for the all-county jazz band. Lily Olsthorn on piano, Tab Biggs on trumpet, and Jonathan Aber on drums. Our concert band earned an excellent at MPA, and our symphonic band earned a superior. We had five students selected for the all-county honor band. Allison Martinez and Nick Calpachian on horn, Jose Guerra on clarinet, Dana Wolf on baritone, Sky Hansen on percussion. And Nick Calpachian was also selected to participate in this year's all-state honor band. Our indoor color guard unfortunately had their season cut short, but at their last competition they earned sixth place. And at Solon Ensemble this year, we had a total of 32 superiors and 24 excellence. We also had 14 students participate in the drama's spring musical, Chicago, this past year. Lily Olsthorn, Ren Nelson, Isabel Yanalos, Jasmine Louie, Jose Guerra, Dylan Mueller, Sydney Levy, Rika Lapatukin, Tab Biggs, Czech Hill, Caleb Pate, Makaganovich, Tyler Hatter, and Christian Reed Drummond. Our students have accomplished so much this year, and I'm so proud of all of them. I'm sorry we didn't get to have a spring concert for you all, but I wanted to make sure that our seniors and students at least got one more performance out of this year. So they had an assignment where they each recorded their own part of the theme song from Avengers and sent that in. And this project could not have been done without the help of alumni Alec Lubin. So thank you Alec and Mr. Lubin for putting this production together, from collecting the videos editing them, arranging them, syncing the audio. This was no small project, as we had over a hundred different videos of our students. So, written by Alvin, Alan Silvestri and arranged by Michael Brown and Will Rapp, and produced by Alec Lubin. Performing for you now, the virtual and combined Boca Raton High School Bands and Color Guard and their performance of the theme song for The Avengers. the movie Captain America, whatever happens tomorrow, you must promise me one thing, that you will stay who you are, not a perfect soldier, but a good man. And this bam band family is filled with so many good people. So as we move on to awards tonight, let me start off by saying I wish I could give everyone an award this year. Across the band, I have seen so many students going out of their way to be kind, respectful, helpful, and role models. But if I did that, we would be here all night. So I'm going to highlight a few individuals that stood out to me this year. We have some Most Improved Awards, Most Outstanding Awards, Pride Awards, and then some Senior Class Specific Awards. 
I will note that I have created PDFs of all these awards and will email them to everyone so you can print off your award certificate. We're going to get started tonight with recognizing our leadership team. I want to thank all of our marching band leaders for being role models to all of our sections and putting in the extra time and passion into this program. I believe this leadership class definitely has left a legacy on this program. First off, our co-drum major team, Ms. Rika Lapatukin and Ms. Isabel Yanalos. Our woodwind captain and flute and clarinet section leader, Ms. Jasmine Louie. Our brass captain and tuba section leader, Mr. Christian Reed Drummond. Our color guard captain, Ms. Kiera Gleek. Our percussion captains, Mr. Sky Hansen and Ms. Angelina Papatestas. Our operations managers, Mr. Jose Guerra and Mr. Caleb Pate. Our saxophone section leader, Ms. Angie Ganem. Our trumpet section leader, Ms. Chek Hill. Our horn section leader, Ms. Elena Inje. And last but not least, our baritone section leader, Mr. Tyler Hatter. Thank you again, students, for your leadership of this band program. This band is stronger because of you, and I'm really going to miss this leadership class. You all have been outstanding to work with, so thank you. Moving on, we're going to jump to the most improved award, which is my favorite award to give. It has nothing to do with where they started, but everything to do with their attitude, how hard they worked throughout the year, and the passion they put into what they did. These are the students that impressed me the most this year. So again, I can't tell you how much I love these most improved awards. The first most improved award I have is for concert band, and I have a few. Um, these first two I'll do together because I really felt this year that both of them really opened up as leaders within their section and I could tell that they would put in the extra practice time into their learning into learning their music and they grew not only as musicians but also in character so I'm encouraged by these first two students from most improved in concert band I have Miss Fiona Froggett and Mr. Alexis Marino as you know our brass class for concert band meets separately during the school day and there's one student that has been in the class a couple of years now and this year really started stepping up and challenging herself in the parts she would pick to play. I'm excited to see how she continues to improve during her senior year next year and I know she's planning on doing marching band next year which is exciting. So for most improved in concert band I have Miss Reese Silly. For symphonic band the student I picked for most improved goes above and beyond on all her assignments. Always has a smile on her face, challenging herself at solo and ensemble, and what really impressed me was her fearlessness in one of the pieces we played for MPA, Rhapsodic Episode, in which she had a solo. Most improved in symphonic band goes to Miss Vivian Yu. In marching band, a couple of students stood out. I really think we could recognize the entire rookie class of the saxophone section, which is the largest out of the band. All of them were truly remarkable, but one I would like to recognize from within that section. You could tell she had a drive, a determination to get better. She gave 100% on the field always and had a good attitude. For most improved in marching band, Miss Valentina Gandolfo. Also for marching band, another new member. Her enthusiasm for marching band really set her apart. She also gave 100% and improved a lot and you could tell she really loved every moment of being out on that field. For most improved in marching band, Miss Charlotte Froggett. In our color guard, I have a few as well. This first one came in this year as a beginner, brand new to color guard, but was always really excited to learn the next thing. And especially over the past, over this past virtual learning period, I have really been impressed with the creativity and skill she has put into her video assignments. The first most improved for color guard goes to Miss Ivy Hinkle. Another most improved for color guard. This student was also new to color guard this year, but not new to the program. Even though the indoor guard season was cut short, I and the other color guard instructors were very impressed with how quickly this individual had improved in performance and technique. 
She had already been killing it on the bass clarinet, so I guess she figured for her senior year, why not color guard too? For most improved, Miss Maddie King. I have one more for color guard most improved, and this one's a great example of it, how it doesn't matter where you start, but the dedication you put in. This individual already had a lot of talent going into this year, but throughout the marching band season, you could tell that they really pushed themselves to be better and stronger. Without a doubt, this student made a tremendous gains this year, in guard and in school. And I know he will continue those into next year. For most improved, Mr. Jordan Rosa. Lastly, in the most improved category, we have jazz band. This individual is new to jazz this year, but not new to the program. Um, I love his humble attitude uh, that this individual brings, and he really stepped up this year as a role model. Um, in a section of already really strong individuals, he started to set the standard for swing style in the trombone section. So, for most improved, laying it down on the bass trombone, Mr. Mok Aganovich. Uh, moving on to the most outstanding awards. Uh, for a concert band, I have been impressed with the student for both years uh, that he has been in band. He's extremely diligent and does everything to the best of his ability. And I'm very excited to see him as a part of the marching band next year. For most outstanding in concert band, Mr. Tyler Takimoto. Another most outstanding from the woodwind class in concert band. Uh, this individual I was actually a little disappointed in at the end of last year. She was so spectacular in color guard that I didn't want her to leave that. But she really wanted to play flute, so okay, we'll give that a try. And of course, I don't know why I thought it would be otherwise. She put her heart and soul into flute, goes above and beyond in each assignment, and has a humble attitude about it all. For most outstanding in concert band, Miss Harumi Moira. For most outstanding in symphonic band, this was an extremely difficult pick. Um, this has honestly been one of my favorite symphonic bands to work with over the years so many really talented individuals. This first one I cannot say enough good things about. She's a talented player, an inspirational leader, a role model, a kind friend to her peers, and is an overall outstanding person. M and deserving of most outstanding in symphonic band with her yay band, Miss Rika Lapatukin. The other most outstanding in symphonic band and again, so hard to choose from so many talented individuals. But this one stood out this year to me with his enthusiasm for music. Always excited by the new music we got, and was also hard at work comp composing music of his own. In band, you often find students who love band, but rare to find students truly passionate about music. Next year in college, he plans to go into music education, and I think his future band students will be lucky to have him. For most outstanding in symphonic band, Mr. Christian Reed Drummond. For color guard, let me start by saying how outstanding the entire senior class is. Four years ago when they were freshmen, they blew me away. They were all so excited about guard, they pushed me and the other color guard members to move faster. We would teach them how to toss a single on rifle, and they would come back the next day saying, look what we learned, and toss a triple. <laughs> We've known for the past few years that this was going to be one of the strongest years for Color Guard, and I'm really going to miss the entire senior class. From within this class, a few individuals stood out, and I'm going to keep them all together. Uh, their performance and passion for Guard on and off the field is inspiring. They all are great role models for the rest of the Guard, and you can tell they really love the Color Guard sport. After talking with the coaches, we really couldn't narrow it down, so for most outstanding in color guard, I have three. Miss Annabelle Brown, Miss Kira Gleek, and Miss Alexa Hajar. In marching band, this was actually an easy decision for me. While there are so many individuals deserving, there is one that stood out to me above everyone else. And I'll start off by saying this person auditioned for leadership going into her junior year but I didn't think she was ready. But something happened during her junior year, I don't know what it was, but when she applied for leadership going into her senior year, I knew absolutely that she would be great. No one on the field impressed me more than her this year. From her marching, to playing, to leadership, to enthusiasm and hyping up the band, I cannot put into words how proud of this individual I am and who she has become. For most outstanding in marching band, 
Miscellanea in J. For jazz band, I have two most outstanding awards. The first individual, you can tell, really has found a passion for jazz. You can tell from his playing that he lives and breathes it. On, on, and on top of that, the amount of growth I have seen in him since his freshman year, both in music and in character, is inspiring. So I would like to give the first most outstanding in jazz band to Mr. Tab Biggs. Also in jazz band, uh, this individual has been a real leader for the jazz band, not only in his musical talent, but also his creativity of ideas and natural ability to lead. During combo projects, the others would look to him for, for form and ideas. He also has been an outstanding leader in many areas, from marching band to percussion and jazz, and the many musical activities he does outside of school, and has been a musical leader since his freshman year. I know so many of the members of the band respect him, so for most outstanding in jazz band, Mr. Sky Hansen. Lastly, for most outstanding in percussion, this senior has consistently been a reliable player and performs in all aspects. In marching band this past year, I really noticed him stepping up as a leader. And even though we give you a hard time about breaking your leg that one summer before marching band, I think that year in Pitt really made you a more well-rounded percussionist. And I know I can always trust you to play any part given to you in symphonic band. For most outstanding in percussion, Mr. Ryan McCord. Moving on to the Pride Award, we have a saying in our program that our band is the Pride of the Gold Coast. Pride is actually an acronym that stands for professionalism, respect, integrity, discipline, and excellence. The Pride Award is given to students who, who portray all of these characteristics on a regular basis. The first Pride Award, this individual always on task, always prepared, and always respectful. I relied on her most over the past few years with the drama department musicals, as she would cover most of the woodwind parts. She was always willing to learn a new instrument every year for the musical, and now I think has played just about every saxophone and clarinet possible. Very talented and always willing to help out, the first Pride Award goes to Miss Sydney Levy. The next Pride Award I want to give out goes to someone that I've seen a lot of growth in throughout her four years. She is one that I think really represents that it does not take a leadership title to be a leader. She is always prepared and giving her best, and even though she's not the most outspoken, you can tell she loves this band program. So this Pride Award goes to Miss Ava Zoom Tobel. This next individual has really impressed me in her senior year. She has so much pride for the band and seems to have an immense amount of enthusiasm for life itself. She has been a big help to me volunteering to make copies and organize papers for me during seventh period. And she also showed her dedication and excellence when she filled a last minute hole in marching band and worked extra hard to get caught up. So this Pride Award goes to someone that really stepped up and impressed me this year, Miss Jessica Mowry. My last Pride Award is for one of the top performers we have. I honestly don't think I've ever seen a bad picture of her. Whenever the camera is on, she has the biggest smile and performs her best. She is a friend to all and her smile is infectious. She always gives her best effort and even got to perform in the Super Bowl halftime show this year, which is really cool. This Pride Award is for Miss Emma Schaefer. The next few categories are just for seniors within the program. We'll start with the Merit Award. Um, as I've said before, it doesn't take a leadership title to be a leader, and I feel like this student does that. As a member of the Color Guard, she has gone out of her way to help organize the guard room, which is a feat in itself. And as a member of both percussion and guard, she has been an enthusiastic sense of encouragement to many of our members. She would go out of her way to help others with music and also stay behind to put away equipment. So I give this merit award for outstanding contributions, leadership, and service to Miss Gwen Gleek. The next award is the Musicianship Award. And I have a couple for this. The first individual um, has been a leader both in title and her playing. When the tempo required for skills is 132, she'll play them at 152. <laughs> She's always the first to know her music and has been a great leader to her sections. In the symphonic band, or in this year's symphonic band, 
this has to be one of the strongest clarinet sections I have ever had. And I think it is in part due to inspirational musical leadership from people like her. So for the Musicianship Award, for Outstanding Musicianship and Distinguished Musical Excellence, goes to Miss Jasmine Louie. The next Musicianship Award goes to someone who has been in symphonic, symphonic band all four years. She was quiet at first, like most freshmen, but now has grown into a leader for the band. I've relied on her musical abilities for numerous solos, the drama musical pit orchestra, and she has been a rock for her flute ensembles on the bass flute. For outstanding musici musicianship and distinguished musical excellence, this musicianship award goes to Miss Isabel Yanalos. <coughs> As we near the end, I only have two more words to give out. The first, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. This student came in as a freshman, came in her freshman year on saxophone, but didn't audition for jazz band until sophomore year. Had a good audition, but was classically trained, so I knew had some learning to do. But she seemed like she was a fast learner. Little did I know how quickly she took off. Now senior year, anything we ask her to play, sure, no problem. A prime example of that, during this year's Chicago musical, she played the piano two book, and one of the shows the piano one player got up and left right before a big solo in the middle of the show. And without skipping a beat, the student walked to the other piano, sight read the music in the middle of the show. No problem. In addition, I have relied on the student for all the technical support during marching season with the sound system. Circling back to jazz, she's developed her own style and been a solid member of the rhythm section we can all rely on. In addition, she was selected as the pianist for the top all-county jazz band this year. For outstanding achievements in the field of jazz, superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity, I present the Louis Armstrong Award to Miss Lily Olslorn. <coughs> Lastly, the John Philip Sousa Award. There are so many attributes of this person that I can talk about. First off, this individual is always willing to help out and never complains. From marching band truckloading to field lining to moving equipment, he is always the first to volunteer for a task. His character is unmatched and he has a servant's heart, which is what I think makes him a great leader. When he came to Boca High as a freshman, he was in concert band for a couple years, worked hard, but struggled with his sound. As I mentioned before, this year the clarinet section in my symphonic band has been the strongest I have ever had, and he is a huge contributing factor in that. I handed out Rhapsodic Celebration, and I think he went home and learned all of the crazy runs in that piece that night. He has grown so much musically over the past four years, and I am proud of the role model and musician he has become today. For outstanding achievement and interest, loyalty and cooperation, and highest qualities of conduct. I present the John Philip Sousa Award to Mr. Jose Guerra. For everyone that participated in band this year, everyone does get something. If this is your first year in the Boca Raton High School Band or Guard, you get a varsity letter. And if this is your second, third, or fourth year in our program, you get a service bar pin to add to your collection. Students, you can get these from me next year, or seniors, next time you come and visit me, uh, at school you can get it. Um, again if you received an award tonight I will email you a PDF of your certificate so that way you can print it out. Um, thank you and congratulations again to all of our students for a great year. As we wrap up the awards portion of the evening I want to jump into senior recognition. We have a slideshow that I put together that has many memories from over the years as well as some adorable baby pictures of the senior class. So before we jump to that I want to say how proud I am of this senior class. This has been an amazing year, an amazing four years with you. And it has been my honor to watch all of you grow from where you were as freshmen to where you are now, not only as musicians, but as people. In this class, we have some loud seniors, some more on the quiet side, some guard with spin till I die mentality, some who march around their house for fun, some who don't understand that band dismiss means that you actually have to leave the band room. Some that we probably should have wrapped in bubble wraps so they didn't chip their teeth or get concussions at band practices. 
uh, some great friends, some inspirational leaders, and some talented musicians, all of which make up this unique band family. I know for all of you, the memories you make here, you will carry with you for the rest of your life. Words cannot express how excited I am to see what each of you become in the world, and I know that the next generation of this world will be better in your hands. So with that, I'm going to read off each senior's name and with their graduation plans and a favorite quote or memory that they wanted to share, followed by many pictures and memories that you all have sent in. And then I'll turn it over to the senior class for their award presentations. Sky Hansen, attending the University of Florida, majoring in environmental engineering. His favorite memory is marching snare with Ryan my senior year. Elena NJ, going to Florida State University and majoring in biology. Her favorite memory, the hug that Rich gave me after making finals. Czech Hill, attending Florida State University, majoring in classical civilizations. Her favorite memory, the end of Cavalcade when I was hanging out with friends in the band hallway trying to communicate even though I had completely lost my voice and couldn't talk for four days. Her favorite quote, in a society where all adventure has been destroyed, the only adventure left is to destroy that society. Jessica Mowry, attending Florida Atlantic University and majoring in mechanical engineering. Jillian Bauman, attending Florida Atlantic University and majoring in business. Her favorite memory, making finals for the yard. Emma Wood, attending Florida Gulf Coast University and majoring in biomedical engineering. Christian Reed Drummond, attending Florida Atlantic University and majoring in music education. His favorite memory, getting hype with the homies during cadences. Gabriel Julowitz, attending the University of Florida and majoring in biology. His favorite memory, frisbee team building with a whole jazz band at Lakeside during my junior year. Peyton Neville, attending the University of Central Florida and majoring in forensic science. Her favorite memory, making finals junior year. And her favorite quote, it's no fun if you don't try other options once you know they exist. Jose Guerra, attending the University of Florida and still deciding on a major. His favorite memory, the realization of making finals with the yard. And his favorite quote, talent is something you make bloom. Instinct is something you polish. Madison King, attending Florida Atlantic University and still deciding on a major. Angelina Papatestas, attending the University of Florida and majoring in biology. Federico Bedoya, attending Florida Atlantic University and majoring in biology. Berkeley Lucas, attending the University of Central Florida and majoring in mathematics. His favorite memory is graduation 2018. A.J. Kratz, attending Palm Beach Atlantic University and majoring in youth ministry. Ren Nelson, attending Florida Atlantic University and majoring in biology. Her favorite memory, The Yard 2018. Sydney Levy, attending the University of Virginia and majoring in political science. Her favorite memory, playing in the musicals. Alexa Hajar, attending Florida Gulf Coast University and majoring in dentistry. Her favorite memory, every moment spent on the field or tarp with guard. And her favorite quote, life is not measured by the number of breaths you take, but by the moments that take your breath away. Gwen Gleek, attending Warren Wilson College and still deciding on a major. Her favorite quote, I'm sorry, favorite memory, my first band banquet with all the new friends I made. And her favorite quote, 
A girl without freckles is a knight without stars. And Kiera Gleek, also attending Warren Wilson College and majoring in chemistry or anthropology. Her favorite memory, making finals for the show The Yard. And her favorite quote is, yes, I can. Jacob Sirodi, attending Valencia and majoring in music and audio technology. His favorite memory, watching Harrison become a high schooler. Ryan McCord, attending the University of Central Florida and majoring in environmental engineering. His favorite memory, marching snare with sky my senior year. Isabel Yanalos, attending the University of Florida and still deciding on a major. Her favorite memory, hugging Rika when we found out that we would be drum majors. Mia Passarino, attending the University of North Florida and majoring in psychology. Her favorite memory, talks with Mamino about random things in her office. Michaela and Kenny, attending Nova Southeastern University and majoring in biology. Her favorite memory, fun in the theater with guard. And her favorite quote, though she be but little, she is fierce. Gabriel Manrique. Kevin Siebert, attending Florida Atlantic University and majoring in architecture. His favorite memory, hanging out with the boys playing trumpets of Spain. Jasmine Louie, attending the University of Florida and majoring in biology pre-med. Her favorite memory, doing retreat for finals in 2018. Rika Lapatukin, attending the University of Florida and majoring in biomedical engineering. Her favorite memory, the hug I shared with Izzy when we got drum majors and conducting for the first time without a metronome. And her favorite quote, yay band. Jessica Miller, attending Florida Atlantic University and majoring in environmental sciences. Her favorite memory, the reindeer parade with Rich after our semifinals performance of The Yard. Lily Olsthorn, attending the University of Florida and majoring in psychology. Her favorite memories, Legally Blonde and Chicago. Anthony Prieto, attending Valencia and majoring in anthropology. His favorite memory, marching with the boys. Annabelle Brown, attending Valencia, majoring in English technical communication. Her favorite memory, crying every time at States because the end of the season is emotional. Ava Zumtobel, attending the University of Central Florida and majoring in graphic design. Her favorite memory, junior year marching band and all the football games. And her favorite quote, how do I make what I do matter? Emma Schaefer, attending Florida International University and majoring in psychology. Her favorite memory, twirling on the track during football games. Omkar Pansar, attending the University of Florida and majoring in electrical engineering. His favorite memory, performing in finals for The Yard. Caleb Pate, attending the University of Florida and majoring in physics. And last but not least of our 38 seniors, Anthony Saba, attending the University of Central Florida and majoring in statistics. His favorite memory is being able to march in the Christmas parade. And his favorite quote, falling up the stairs. You should try it sometime with one precaution. Don't.
So the first award goes to someone that wasn't sure if they wanted to stick with marching band, but they did and they ended up having a great time. And I'm so happy because they were always there to give an awesome hug and I'm just so glad they were part of my marching band experience. So the award for most likely to put a smile on your face goes to Harrison Cerrone. And then the second award goes to someone who really was just so resilient, always gave it their all, whether it be with music, with marching, with everything. And so the award for Never Misses a Beat goes to Vivian Yu. Woo! So for my first award, this is awarded to Jordan Rosa for the best student color guard. Yay, good job. My second award, this goes to Rachel Johnson for the most improved freshman. Finally, this award goes to Jennifer Castellanos for most likely to secretly run for guard captain and win. Yay, good job. My award for most likely to change one's life goes to Nico Zantini. Goes to the section who was just not having it with tents this year. I mean, there was always trouble putting it together, taking it apart. One time it came without a cover. One time uh, the legs actually broke off. And then there was a time where everyone else's tent was okay, but theirs kept falling to the ground. So, most likely to have difficulty camping, it's in clarinets. Towards someone who's always there for me on and off the field, pushing me to do better this year in marching band. Wouldn't have done it without her, and that's Julia Yu. My next award goes to two people who are always there cooking it up on the field at football games at State's best pod on that field. Goes to Kai Belanger and Kathleen Dodge. I am awarding Zoe Fernandez the Coolest Kicks Award. I want to give the Best Role Model Award to Jessica Garcet because she was always so prepared and always so focused during rehearsals. My award goes to the Operations Rookie of the Year, and that would be Harumi because I remember specifically, especially during band camp, whenever we would ask someone to help me and Caleb, her roommate was always there, always willing to help him. And because of that, I feel she was basically part of the team with me and Caleb. And that was a nice feeling to have. So thank you for Rumi. This award is from the whole band for Miss Mimino as the best dressed band director, four years strong.
Hey everybody, this is Mr. Muter. I'm gonna go ahead and time myself real quick. Miss Mimino just asked me to keep it under 30 seconds because sometimes people just talk too much and they have no idea where they're going with a conversation and they blabber on and on and on. So I, I don't wanna do that. Um, I don't wanna waste any of your time. So I'm gonna get right to the point and say what I need to say. So first and foremost, you guys are one of the finest programs that I've ever had the opportunity to work with. Um, and even though we're apart right now, I look forward to the day we can get back together and make some great music. Stay happy, stay safe out there, be well, love you guys and go check out my new tuba course when it drops next Friday. What's going on, Boca High? Congratulations on the end of a year, successful year. Um, things might not have ended the way we expected them to, but uh, that's okay. You always make the best of everything. Uh, if there's one thing we learn in marching band, and you can ask your marching band friends that no matter what happens, you keep going and you make it work. Uh, looking forward to next year, whatever that brings. Seniors, congratulations, good luck, whatever you choose to do. Uh, you'll have a whole bunch of people cheering for you back here. Uh, you're always welcome to come hang out, maybe teach a basics block or two. And um, good luck. And hopefully uh, you have learned little bit from me, and I've certainly learned a lot from you guys. Hey, Boca High School. It's Mr. Puali over here. I'm one of the marching instructors with your program. And for those of you who are with that program, what a great year we had. I know we didn't get the results we wanted, but I'm still proud of what we did. That was some of our best performances towards the end. Really look forward to it. And for those of you wondering why I'm Mr. Puali now, hmm. I am now the new band director at Boca Middle School. So I will now be a lot closer to you guys and we'll be able to help each other out in the future. I really look forward to our, our new journey together and I'm very excited to be the new band director at Middle, Boca Middle. See you guys later, bye. This year has been one for the books. This has been a trying time for all of us and I know some members of our band family have been directly affected by this coronavirus. My thoughts and prayers are with those of you who have lost loved ones during this time. No one could have predicted this, and no one can predict what will happen after this. But all we can, can do is continue to try our best every day. I know this is not how our seniors wanted to end their senior year, nor how any of us wanted to kick off our summer. But this is the only world we have to live in, and now more than ever, I realize how blessed I am to have the job I have and to be working with all of you. I truly miss being at school every day with all of you students, and I cannot wait to see your faces again. To my seniors, as you move off into the world, I have three pieces of advice for you, or three things that I request. Number one, keep music in your life. Keep playing your instrument because you are all so talented. Go to concerts and support the arts. Music has been a big part of your life, so find a way to keep your life full of music. Number two, Wear sunscreen. <laughs> you all live in Florida, so whether the beaches are open or closed, protect your skin. And number three, come back and visit, often. Seniors, right now I don't get to offer you a hug or a high five, but when you come back and visit, know that it'll be here waiting for you. Remember, I will always be here for you, and I'm just an email or a short drive away. I'm proud of all of you. And I wish you all the best of luck. Um, thank you. Thank you everyone for such a great year. And thank you all for tuning in tonight. Thank you parents, thank you students, thank you seniors. And thank you again Mr. Lubin for helping put this entire video together for us. And thank you Alec for your help with the Avengers movie. I hope everyone stays safe and well. And even though we don't know what next year will look like, I know I'm looking forward to it with my band family by my side. So. Congratulations, seniors, class of 2020, and best of luck. <sighs> to wrap up tonight, our ceremony, we are going to play our marching band show from this past year's season. I hope you enjoy, and until next time, good night, go Bobcats, and yay band.
underneath of Jeff Amigo, who they will perform their COVID-19 program in final four that way. So next time we go to Brandon Ehrlich, Carol Gerardo, Carl Jean, Andres Martinez, Chris Pomali, Sonny Wiles, Amy Williams, and Kevin Williams. Crewmakers Rigo Lapadukin and Isabel Yellows is your band ready. is a mystery. We do not fear the unknown. We only fear what we think we know about the unknown. Phobias are nothing more than a belief that has become a behavior. Claustrophobia can elicit panic attacks.
ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our guest speaker to the stage in her first public appearance. Thank you. 